The former Olympic soccer player Shannon Box has hung up her cleats to take on a new role as an advocate for lupus awareness. Box played for years on the women's gold medal winning Olympic soccer team in spite of the disease keeping her diagnosis secret from everyone but one teammate. She has since gone public with her battle and wants to help others by telling her story as Lupus Awareness Month begins in May. Shannon Box is joining me now from New York along with GSK rheumatologist Dr. Tania Gonzalez Rivera. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having us. For having us. Now, well, first, Shannon, tell us about how and when you were first diagnosed with lupus. Um, I was first diagnosed with lupus in 2008. Um, I had been an, uh, an elite athlete um, playing soccer professionally since 2001, and I first felt my symptoms in 2002. Um, I was out at training, and I just remember feeling this extreme fatigue. And I remember after training, trying to walk up my stairs to my house and, and barely being able to do that, struggling to do that. And I knew something was really wrong. Um, so I went to see some doctors and um, I saw doctors over the next couple of years. And six years later is when I finally got the right diagnosis that I had lupus. Oh, wow. And what was it like for you to continue playing soccer at an elite level after your diagnosis? Um, it was really difficult. Um, difficult through the diagnosis process because I was, you know, unsure of what was going on with me and would I be able to keep playing soccer at the level that I was playing. Um, and then once it was diagnosed, there was honestly a really good sense of relief for a few minutes because I had something that I could face and fight, And but I was doing it alone. And I think that was the hard part about those first couple years after being diagnosed is that I didn't want um, people to, to know that I had it. Playing a sport that I play that you had to be physically fit and and on your game every single day. I think it made me nervous for my job if I told somebody. So I stayed quiet, I dealt with it alone. And it was very difficult because lupus is a disease that you, it's very unpredictable. You don't know when a flare is gonna happen and to have symptoms like fatigue and joint pain, um, it makes that standard of being an elite athlete that much more difficult. So um, I know for me, once I became public and open and, and started to be an advocate for lupus, um, my job got a little bit easier because I had the support um, from my teammates and my coaches and my family and my doctors all at once trying to help me uh, maneuver and manage my disease. Um, so it was a big help once that happened. Well, thank you for sharing that story with us in terms of your diagnosis. Now tell us how life is for you right now um, after your Olympic and professional soccer career. Um, very different. I have two beautiful kids, a three-year-old and a six-month-old, and they keep my life pretty busy. And they've made me realize it's even more important now than ever to really take care of my body for them. Um, so again, I, I have a very open and honest dialogue with my doctor all the time. Um, I take charge of my own, my own self too. You know, I'm a self-advocate. I understand my body. I'm listening to it to make sure that I'm staying up on things. Um, there are resources out there that I've used um, to keep track of what's happening to me on a daily basis, um, what happens and my symptoms that happen so that when I go to my doctors, I have the confidence to give them all the information that I have. Um, and that's been a huge help. Now, you just mentioned about managing um, on a daily basis some tools that you use and even taking care of your body. Um, tell us more about how you manage your lupus on a daily basis. Um, you know, it's different for every single person. Um, you know, lupus um, affects every single person differently. Um, so the treatments and the things that I do to um, help me manage might be very different than the next person. So I would suggest and advise that, you know, somebody that has lupus is to really speak and be open with their doctors to figure out the best plan. Um, again, you know, even being away from soccer and not playing at that high level, I, I still have lupus every single day and I still deal with it every day as far as, um, I'm in remission now, but I could have bad days. And I think for me, the biggest thing that I can say is that when I have a bad day, you know, I, I can't wait to go to sleep that night to wake up the next day and say, this is a new day. And, uh, you know, I hope I feel better today and I'm going to try again. And, you know, that's a big thing. So, you know, again, I would suggest that people use these resources that are available. One of them is us in, usinlupus.com. Um, and, um, yeah. 
Now, doctor, why is diagnosing lupus so difficult? Lupus is a very complicated disease. Um, it's uncurable and it's a chronic autoimmune disease can affect any organ, skin, joints, kidneys. Um, the presentation for lupus is very different for every patient. Um, the most common symptoms include joint pain, fatigue, rashes, but no two patients are the same. So that makes it a little bit trickier to, to sort of get to a diagnosis. Additionally, they're not um, just one specific blood test for lupus. So putting all that picture together takes time. And Shannon's story is, is unfortunately very common where patients, it takes a long time to get to that diagnosis. Yes. Now, what should people be on the lookout for to mention to their health care provider if they suspect that they may have lupus? So I think it's important for patients to be very aware of their body and understand what they know their body and, and understand what's not right. Um, very common symptoms are joint pain, fatigue, rashes. So it's important for them to sort of be aware of this. And that's why for us as, at GSK, it's so important to partner with, with Shannon and, and sort of raise awareness for this disease and, and get the conversation started. So patients feel confident to talk to their doctors. Also, it's important for patients to um, use the resources that are out there, um, such as usinlupus.com that Shannon was mentioning before. Um, in that website, they'll find um, information, they'll get skills, and also the confidence to go to their doctors and talk, talk up openly about this diagnosis. Um, in it also, they can sort of keep track of their symptoms and also helps them keep that conversation and partnership going with their physicians. Absolutely. Now, we know how vital family support can be in dealing with any health condition. Um, Shannon mentioned earlier how um, it was easier for her once she went public with her condition. Tell us some ways that family members and friends of those who have lupus can support them and assist them with managing their health. That's a great question. Um, you know, I think what I've recognized as, as being a big help is just someone that you can lean on. Um, you know, like again, I have two kids and if I'm having a bad day, I need to be able to maybe call a friend to say, hey, can you come over and, and, and help me with my, my kids today? I'm, I'm not feeling that great. Um, it's just to know that you have support and, and you need it. You need it through your doctors, you need it through your friends and family, just to understand when you have good days and when you have bad days and to not ask questions about it, just to, fully be there and understand it. And I think that's with any any disease and, and, and any part of anybody's life is just when you have support and you don't feel like you're alone, you can do a lot more. Absolutely. Now, Shannon and Dr. Gonzalez, we talked about um, definitely the importance of having that conversation with your doctor and keeping that communication open. Um, what tips and advice do you have for people um, other than going to their doctor who may suspect that they have lupus or um, who have been diagnosed and are concerned about maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, so definitely want to encourage patients to talk to their doctors and, and seek that uh, and have those conversations. But also it's very important for them to use those, those uh, resources that are out there to help them and empower them to know more about the disease. And one of the sites is ossinlupus.com, which could help patients sort of have that confidence to have those conversations with physicians and also talk to their, to their family members to encourage support and sort of get that knowledge out there. Great, thank you so much for that. And again, for more information on lupus and managing or even just having the discussion with your doctor, visit www.usinlupus.com. Thank you so much again for joining me today. It's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. We really appreciate it.